One of the biggest redemption stories of the 2023 Southeast Asian Games is courtesy of our very own Jamie Lim and our Philippine Karate team. Dip Dip Bianco caught up with a two-time SEA Games gold medalist to talk about her journey back on top of the Southeast Asian Karate. Good evening, I'm Dip Dip Bianco and we have with us two-time SEA Games gold medalist back to being a student athlete and a certified TikToker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have Jamie Lim. Jamie, first of all, congratulations and welcome to the game. Hello, thank you for having me and thank you so much. <laughs> right, so let's talk about Of course, uh, SEA Games just happened a week ago, fresh from that. Let's talk about your preparations leading to that one. You trained in uh, Istanbul, Turkey for three weeks. Can you tell us more about that preparation and how it helped towards your journey to this uh, SEA Games in Cambodia? Sorry, so that three weeks meant everything to me because uh, before that, like after last year's SEA Games, I had no other competition and no training with the team. So I started studying in London in September and since then I've been doing it alone. So I've been doing gym or running long or like punching bags. Alone, and then I found this dojo through the help of Coach Okai before. Uh, so I trained with like people for like six times ever, <laughs> like no February. And then so parang wala masadong training, and the training was really on my own. But the Turkey three weeks before Sea Games, yun yung like I really focused and I did everything with Coach Levent, and yeah. he helped me so much. As in, he helped the whole team very much, and. Um, grab yung focus niya on each and every one, and I took as much information as I can from him and apply it to the CK. Obviously, hindi madalian because we know that you're also studying right now, the but you're taking up um, business analytics in Imperial College. You're in London right now, basically after C Games. You told me, umuwi ka. Um, can you tell us what happened there? Mm. And then now you're back to studying. Yeah, so actually, nung nag-training kami for Turkey, sakto yun kasi may two-week break sa London, no, sa college ko noon. Uh, but like, so absent ako ng one week doon and then another week sa Cambodia and then another week just like to come come back home to the Philippines for like a few days, two, three days to say hi lang to my family and everything and then come back. So in total, three weeks absent ako. Medyo marami akong backlog. So I, I really had to go home immediately go back here immediately and like catch up so uh, right now i'm in the middle of catching up and doing all the backlog pero sobrang sulit naman so mm -hmm. i would do it all again <laughs> you were able to do it and you actually won a gold medal pag uusapan natin in just a bit but um can you talk about the role of your mom because we know that she was there in cambodia she supported mm -hmm. you but also as you mentioned medyo mahirap nga to balance everything um she was telling you na okay jamie if Nahihirapan ka na, you can quit karate. But then, um, what else was she doing by your side to support you? My mom supports me in everything, talaga. So, um, hindi lang sa agree sa, sa decisions ko. But when I make a decision, for example, I made the decision to compete sa SEA Games mm -hmm. around January. Sabi ko, I want to try Asian Games and maybe I should do SEA Games as well. Um, and she knows na ano na ko medyo kulang cool ata in training baka ano mahirap with the school pero she be, pa, she knows na if I make a decision kakayanin ko and I'll stand by it and so she will stand by me. and so kapag umiiyak ako sa kanya which is very often kung magrerant ako about my training she'll she'll listen to me and she'll make me feel better with her magic words or like nung kasama ko siya sa Cambodia Sobrang kabado ako, like day before tournament. She's trying to be as composed as she can. Pero it, on the inside, kabadong kabado din siya. But she told me she can't show me that. Kasi hindi pwedeng <laughs> dagdagan pa yung kaba ko. Yeah. So she's been doing a lot to help me in like small things and also big things. Kaya, um, kaya na kaya because of her. She won gold medal in the individual category for 61 kilos. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, coming into the Sea Games, back to uh, bronze medals you nakuha nyo in Hanoi, mm -hmm. Vietnam. Um, can you tell mm -hmm. us how that felt? Because yung simula pa lang, I know you're matched up with um, tough opponents. Yes. Uh, so when I got my pairing, the first match was the girl who beat me last year in Vietnam, the Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. So sabi ko, bakit naman yung previous champion agad the first round? Like I was already preparing for her obviously. Pero inimagine ko naman na baka magkita kami sa semifinals or sa finals man lang. 
sa first round talaga so parang okay and then the semifinals ko sa draw Malaysia and she was the current this year's champion sa Southeast mm-hmm. Asian Championships ang hirap ng draw and then sa finals it's either Cambodia or Laos also gonna be hard mm-hmm. pero grabe talaga yung arrangement ko like the girl who beat me pa talaga last year um, I stayed strong I focused and sa sabi ng teammates ko sa yung pinaghandaan ko Okay yun, kasi yun yung pinaghandaan ko and everything. So, I just stick to the plan and believed in my training that I did everything possible in what I had, what limited time I had. And um, step by step lang, game per game. And yeah. so, it went smoothly and ano, panalo tayo. So, your team got a total of 8 bronze medals in Vietnam. Mm. Pero this time around, a total of 2 golds, 5 silvers, and 1 bronze. Can you tell us how pleased you are with the performance of the committee um, Karatekas this SEA Games? Siyempre, naka-proud. I mean, uh, last year, grabe, we were all shut out from the finals and it was a very difficult competition. Um, Vietnam like won everything there. Um, but this time, um, Bago din yung coach, so we had like a fresh start. Mm-hmm. Uh, tapos okay yung three week training namin. It was very focused and okay yung we're going the right direction. So pa improve, kami na pa improve, and then step by step. So naka proud. Right. So now that you're in London, and what's next for Jamie Lim? Are you gonna be pausing for a while sa training? Focus muna sa studies. When's the next competition? Oh, so I'm looking at Asian Games because that's happening this year. Pero matatapos na sa school. I, I'm like coming home in six weeks. I'm almost done. So I'm bilis lang ng one year study. Parang it went by so fast. Uh, so I'll be training like how I was here. So magkisa muna ako, and then when I come home to Manila, train with the team again. Um, and then yon, we'll take it step by step. There's also an Asian champ in July. Not sure if makasama ako, but I will do my best. Because my school pa ako and everything, um, and also Asian Games and then IMAG World Championships also. So those are all things that I'm looking forward to and sana makasalis a lot. 